There you go. Welcome back. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? I need you to move your head and look at these lights, just here. Look up. That's it. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. There you go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? All right, let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. It'll just take a minute, okay? Well, thank you, Nancy. Bon journée. C'est bon, c'était prêt. Magnifique, merci. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade, your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. You might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. You ready? Let's go. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey them, Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, matey. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. So? This is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Calibrating, right. So here we are. Your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours, so sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. Welcome to Animus Omega, Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor 
Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. Havana. I've been here once before. It was a truly awful pleasure. See someone you know? No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. Yeah. Mad to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Here I am, bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Nothing wrong, Duncan? No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. So where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I could, I could show you the way. Well, lead on. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby. In case of a misunderstanding. I can hang about. I might have a drink. Spend it. <laughs> drink. <laughs> well, they don't take kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. All our ladies. You don't know these women, do you? No. They charge money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen reals for every hour of knowing. Keen to meet them? No. Goodness, no. I'm a, I'm a married man. A married man of their forte, mate. Aha! Here's a purveyor of personal defenses. <laughs> I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty razor's nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. Maybe I'll buy a sword too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils. <laughs> Lend us a few reals then. I did save your skin. Ah, uh, of course. Cheers. <laughs> That's a better fit for me. How do you fare? I had only enough for a small knife, sadly. Still, it'll do in a pinch. Oh, puffer duff. I have led us astray, Duncan. Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern with a sort of courtyard interior. Oh. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how you tell a true sailor. <laughs> yes, a fine way to put it. Place. We're not far. Hang tight. I can't breathe. Stop or I'll break your knees when I catch you. Hey. 
I'm close at heel, Shedbird. Here I come. You robbed the wrong man, mate. A fellow with dangerous friends. Of course I am. That filter was no fuss. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah! We've arrived. Take your time, I'll be just here. Glad to meet no Welshman deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. Biding my time till the next war calls me to service. Lucky King George. Having a piss pot like you flying his flag. Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. Use mates with them pirates down in Nassau. Shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shots, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? <laughs> you bastard! Hey, I warned him. Dust up, I'll give you one. Come on, lads. I've seen bigger arms on a bird. Sorry about the swift exit. Bit of a misunderstanding. One heaped upon another. <sighs> oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, mate. This is my doing. I'm only trying to keep these Spanish eyes off me. Oh, it's no bother. Regrettably, the soldiers confiscated my sugar when your dispatches. Damn! 
And where have they gone? Haven't the foggiest idea, I'm afraid. I suspect those chaps might, but my Spanish is wee mal dad, so I'd, I'd rather not ask. Shit! All right, come on, let's follow them and recover my maps. And my sugar? What, in my drawers? We'll see what happens. Do you? Not if you keep quiet and stay out of sight. Bonnet! I believe I'm getting the hang of this! Quiet! I fear they're onto us! Hang back! Perhaps we should split up to confuse them. Best idea you had today. Siempre me pareció insoportable y arrogante. Sobreprotector. Torres logrará que esta ciudad alcance. Buenos días, señores. So late. Yes, sir. Sí, uh, we are very sorry. Our captain delayed us. No lo ves blandito. El sig venimos. Se decidió que nos traeron a... ¡Adelante! Como right, ordenes, Capitán. Captain Mendoza. Yes, sir. He's very excited to meet you. Only he must be present for a, a, a hanging. Señor. Hanging. Ah, I love a good hanging. Yes, sir. Very nice. If we hear the bell, we may go. If you like. I'd love to. Especially if Captain Mendoza's pulling the trap. Man owes me money for the slaves I sold him. Of course, sir. Captain Mendoza is happy to pay you. We have goods to sell, sugars and such. Excellent. Will this hanging take, man? I don't mean to hang about all day for the captain. We can say anything, sir. Captain Mendoza needs only to hang the man. Captain Mendoza needs only to hang the man. Then he will deliver your payment. I don't want reales, mind. I want goods. Things I can sell. Tobacco, rum, sugar. See, si, see. Si. We have much fine sugar. Grace, we took off a fat Englishman last night. Uh, 
Death ugly head seat running out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sorry about the sugar. I've only one pair of hands. Oh, it's no great loss. Uh, I've got uh, plenty of cargo here to make a profit on my trip. Will you stay here long? For a few weeks, yes. Then back to Barbados, to the tedium of domesticity. Don't settle for tedium. Sail for Nassau. Live life as you see fit. <laughs> Haven't I heard that Nassau is crawling with pirates? Seems a very tawdry place. Not tawdry, liberated. Oh, God. That would be an adventure. But no, no, I'm a husband and a father. I have responsibilities. Life can't be all pleasure and distraction, Duncan. Hey, our bonnet. The name's Edward, in truth. Duncan's only a handle. Ah. Secret name for your secret meeting with the governor. The governor, right. I think I've kept him waiting long enough. Mr. Duncan Walpole of England to see the governor. I believe he is expecting me. Si, sí, señor Walpole. Entre, por favor. Ese es el hombre? El... ¿Cómo lo llamabas? ¿Asesino? Sí, Duncan Walpole. Debería haber llegado hace muchos días. No me gusta que los extranjeros se paseen por nuestra ciudad. No me fío de ellos. Cállate. El gobernador tiene invitados. Todos franceses e ingleses. Parece un hombre rudo. Le suponía un aspecto uh. más... respetable. Llévame ese senata mar. Vente con él. <risa> Good morning, sir. Would I be correct in thinking you are Dr. Walpole? I am indeed. I thought as much. Woods Rogers. A pleasure. The same. I must say, my wife has a terrible eye for description. I'm sorry. My wife. You met her some years ago at the Percy's Masquerade Ball. Ah. Quite. She called you devilishly handsome. Obviously, a lie to stoke my jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne, our guest of honor has arrived, Mr. Duncan Walpole. Ah. <laughs> Julianne Ducasse, <laughs> I hope your conversion to our order is an honest one. I have no love for assassins, but even less for liars. I have not come to disappoint. <laughs> Up for a bit of sport, Duncan? The old man isn't ready just yet. You've got my two best pairs of matched pistols, Duncan. So handle them with care. If I had eight, I'd treat each as my own son. Pull off a few shots if you like. Get a feel for it. <laughs> I once fought beside a man who carried nine on his back. They were a boom in battle, but his ability to swim. Sadly. <laughs> Quite. A little kick, yes? I long for the day where one firearm carries four bullets, and the opposite. A friend in England 
you may like to meet Julian. James Puckle. He's working on something extraordinary. Magnifique. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Remember, hit every target within the allotted time. Here's a simple challenge. Try to strike every target before this hourglass empties. Remember, hit every target within the allotted time. Duncan. Where are your wrist blades? I've never seen an assassin so ill-equipped. Ah. Damaged, sadly, beyond all repair. Uh-huh. Have your choice. Where did you find all these? <laughs> I did not find them. I took them. These are souvenirs. Two blades, as is the custom, we eh? Custom, aye. Duncan, will you indulge us with a demonstration of your techniques? Well, uh... We must. We put together a training course in anticipation of your arrival. It would be a shame to leave here without seeing you in action. Yes, of course. Well, I mean, if there is time, I would gladly, uh, show you what I know. Here. You see? Situations well suited to your skills. Have a go! A blade in a crowd is always the simplest. Nothing grandiose, just quick and clean. Show us another technique. Quite ingenious to use bales of hay for cover, don't you think? That's the spirit. Secrecy. The advantage of surprise cannot be overstated, isn't that so? Especially around a blind corner. God blind me. That's a clever trick. Your aerial kills have a poetic beauty. Despite their conspicuous quality. Would you show us? Manif... Is it also possible to deliver a killing blow at high speed? Mon Dieu, such a powerful strike! Fascinating! The assassins have trained you well, Duncan. You chose a perfect time to leave them behind. At great risk, I imagine. Betraying the assassins is never good for one's health. Well, neither is drinking liquor, but I am drawn to its dangers all the same. And what is your business here, sir? 
Are you an associate of the governor's, or a pending acquaintance like myself? Guns, blades, cannons, grenados. <laughs> Anything that may kill a man, I am happy to provide. A smuggler of sorts. And how is your wife these days, Captain Rogers? Is she, uh, here? In Havana? I trust she's well, but I wouldn't know. I've been in Madagascar some 14 months hunting pirates. It took some work to dislodge the criminals there, but we managed it. In future, I hope to use these same tactics throughout the West Indies. And how did you deal with that kind? Very simply. Most pirates are as ignorant as apes. I merely offered them a choice. Take a pardon and return to England, penniless, but free men. Or be hanged by the neck until dead. Oh. I imagine Nassau would be your next target. Very astute, Duncan, indeed. Best of luck with that. Grandmaster Torres! Mr. Duncan Walpole has arrived. See, si. You were expected one week ago. Apologies, Governor. My ship was set upon by pirates. We were scuttled. I arrived only yesterday. Unfortunate. Forgive my caution, but were you able to salvage from these pirates the items you promised me? Uh, yes, sir. I was. Incredible. The assassins have more resources than I had imagined, but... Not nearly enough to deter us. It is a pleasure to meet you at last, Duncan. You are most welcome. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Convened at last, and in such continental company. England, France, Spain, citizens of sad and corrupted empires. But you are Templars now, the secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide all wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road. To guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. Decades ago, the Council entrusted me with the task of locating in these West Indies a forgotten place our precursors once called the Observatory. See here. Look upon these images and commit them to memory. They tell a very old and important story. For two decades now, I have endeavored to locate this observatory, a place rumored to contain a tool of incredible utility and power. It houses a kind of armillary sphere, if you like. A device that would grant us the power to locate and monitor every man and woman on Earth, whatever their location. Only imagine what it would mean to have such a power. With this device, there would be no secrets among men, no lies, no trickery, only justice, pure justice. This is the Observatory's promise, and we must take it for our own. Do we know its whereabouts? We will soon, for in our custody is the one man who does, a man named Roberts, once called a sage. It has been 45 years since anyone has seen a true sage. Can you be sure this one is authentic? We are confident he is. The assassins will come for him. Indeed they will. But thanks to Duncan and the information he has delivered, the assassins won't be a problem for much longer. All will be made clear tomorrow, gentlemen, when you meet the sage for yourselves. Until then, let us drink. Let us find the observatory together. For with its power, kings will fall, clergy will cower, and the hearts and minds of the world will be ours.
Rest well, Duncan. Tomorrow the treasure fleet arrives, and with it, your reward. After which we will discuss further schemes. I look forward to it. Excelente. Meet me down at the docks first thing tomorrow morning. Governor Torres requests your presence at the docks near the Castillo. First thing tomorrow morning. Good morning, Duncan. Just over here. Edward! Hello, Edward! I found a man to purchase my remaining sugar! Huh? Quite a coup, I must say. He just called you Edward. Oh, that's the merchant who sailed me here. Out of caution, I gave him a false name. Ah, well done. We'll catch up on it later. Very punctual, Duncan. This way. Here he is. A man both Templars and Assassins have sought for over a decade. I am told your surname is Roberts. Is this so? You recognize this, I think. According to old tales, the blood of a sage is required to enter the observatory. We have the key. Now we need only its location. Perhaps Mr. Roberts will be eager to provide it. Transfer him to my residence. Such a fuss over one man. Is the observatory really such a grand prize? See, it seemed to that. The observatory was a tool built by the precursor race. Its worth is without measure. Precursor race? I see. One of your early letters mentioned the desire to kill the Mayan mentor, Atabai. Were you able to carry out this contract before coming here? I... I was not, no. Too many complications along the way. A pity. But the maps you delivered with the blood vial will see that job finished. Aye. That's the idea. I don't like this route, Torres. We're exposed. Something is on. Stay close, Grandmaster. I feel it too. Do not let them get their hands on the sage, at whatever cost. Assassins! They're on the rooftops! Watch the street and alleys. They could be anywhere. Nimble one, I'll give you that. Uh. 
Hang back and make this easy on both of us, mate. Well done, lapdog. Quiet. We'll see him to the prisons, Grandmaster. Double the watch. Well, I'll be buggered. What an active day we've had, gents. See, he's set on all sides by our enemies. We must be more cautious. I do wish I could remain to see our drama done, but I must avail myself of these winds and sail for England. By all means, Captain, speed and fortune to you. With luck, I'll return myself a governor. And with my idiot king's blessing, no less. Adios. As for you, Mr. Walpole, I consider this the first payment in a long-term investment. Gracias. Obliged. I would like you to be present for the interrogation tomorrow. Call around noon. Yes, sir. God, sink me for this pittance. One thousand reals for those maps. That's what? A hundred pound at most? How's a man supposed to become rich in these times with a miser like Torres running the world? Have you ever, um... Have you ever worked on a plantation before? You know what I'm thinking? I'd like to see this observatory the governor is going on about. He said it were like a device. I could follow people around and show where they were. A ludicrous idea. Imagine my wife with such an advantage over me. And imagine what a thing like that would be worth. Sell that to the right person and I'd be the richest pirate... ...privateer in the West Indies. I'll catch you up, Bonnet. There's a sage in that house I must speak to, in private.
commissariat. What is your true name, Rogue? It's her. Captain Pissoff. Bien que pauvre Pissoff. Where is the sage? Did you set him free? I had nothing to do with that. Much as I wish I did. Take him to the ports. Send him to Sevilla with the treasure. Oh, wait now! I delivered your treasures, didn't I? You did, yes. But you robbed us of Duncan Wild. Despicable display. This Tusspot is a ruined man, Caroline. Unfit for life on land, much less at sea. If he goes to the West Indies, it's you who'll suffer. Father. Father! Come, love. Up with you now. That old muckworm! He's wrong about me! I hope it's so. You believe me, don't you? Can you not see me? Standing out there on the deck of a ship that's sliding into port. And there I am, a man of quality. With a thousand doubloons spilling from my pockets. Like drops of rain. I can see it. Senna, cómetela rápido. You hungry? Now what's your plan, mate? Find the weapon and steal the ship. Que Dios nos ayude. No me gusta la pinta de esa tormenta que se acerca. Parece que se está desviando al oeste, hacia el Golfo. Quizá estemos a salvo. Unlucky lads. Christ, the seas are uneasy today. We're stealing a brig. Hey, take what you need. Won't be a minute. There's many prisoners held on these ships. Set them free. And they'll sail with us, no question. So that's the idea, then. Free what men we can, then find a fast ship to flee it. Aye, there's a brig in the street. I'll make my way to it.
there's a catch to this favor. You're sailing with me. I'd follow you to hell for this, mate. Come on, lads. If we're to drown today, it won't be here. There's a brig nearby just waiting for us to take her. Going topside. Be ready. Jones and Jagabats. It's a hard wind coming. The man speaks through you lot, way anger. As for the rest, half of the foremast and half of the main. Let's outrun this hurricane. 
watch on those galleons. See, they don't give us trouble. They won't fight us over this weather. That one did some damage. Mark any orders you think wise, mate. We're up against it here. These men know their place. They'll see us home. By God, we pulled this one straight from the teeth of Neptune. I'm Edward. Much thanks for your aid back there. Adewale. Ever been to Nassau, Adewale? Not yet. By God, she took some knocks, didn't she? I think I'll keep her. All hands aft, lads! Taking this one home. 